Hi guys, this is Melissa Janae and this is another one of my review videos and today I will be doing the hair that it's that is on my head. Um just for the regular just, just for the record, I don't like my face today. This is But um as usual I'm gonna be looking over to see if my camera cut off because it does that. But um I bought this, this is another hair off of Ally Express. I paid $153 for it. And it is 22, 24, and 26 inches. Um, now, that is really long. And that is really a lot of, well, you guys can see this is a lot of hair for that price. And you guys can see stretched out, this can, well, stretched out, this hair can, uh, literally touch my butt like I said it literally can touch my butt that's 26 inches um but I'm probably gonna end up cutting it if not I'm um this hair is probably too much for me and I think I um went out of the way with it well, not went out of the way, but like, um, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it would look really nice, really long. And I, I didn't think it was going to be this full. But let me get to the company. It's from Rosa Hair Products. And as you can see, the hair really does look like um, their pictures. Um... I don't know if this is an actual customer, but if you guys can see, like her, that's kind of like how this hair is on my head. Um, it has been a lot of shading, but again, with kinky curly hair, with any kind of curly hair, I expect that because the hair is going to get tangled. And, um... I would go, I would show you, but I forgot it. the hairball is in my room and I honestly do not just feel like getting up to go walk and go get it and come back. It's a chance my camera might cut off. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's really long. Now, this hair has been bleached and dyed. Um, I went with a color that I don't believe I've ever had in my head before which is a aquamarine and a blue and then it's purple at the end you guys can see like um purple i did the longest pack with purple ends and then as it goes down it goes to like a blue and an aquamarine all these colors are from adore i'll be listing the colors down below but um, i'm going to show you guys what the hair looked like when it arrived what it looked like when it was bleached and then what it well, of course, you guys can see what it looks like now. And I'm also going to show you guys the hair before I've combed it out. This is what the hair looks like when I combed it out. Um... It did lose a little bit of the curl after the bleaching, but I didn't really bleach it light light because I knew there was a chance the curls were going to come out, so I didn't want to do that. Um, the hair is really big, as you guys can see, really big. Um, really, really big. And I, what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting this hair into a... A, just a braid and wearing it like that because this hair is too it just may be 
too much for me. I thought I never said that about hair, but yeah, I think this might be too much for me. Even, actually, you know what? Yeah, in a ponytail, it's, it's actually kind of nice, but I wore this today at work, just now. But what I don't like about this kind of hair, and this is even with my natural hair, it's the reason why I don't like riding in cars with big hair, is your head sits up against something at work, I sit in the chair all day. So by my head being back against the chair all day, it gets flat. And then it starts to look weird. And with my natural hair, if I sleep on one side of my head, well, if you have natural hair, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If I sleep on one side of my hair, I wake up and that side would be flat. If I'm in a car, if the seat is not laid back and my head is resting up against it, the back of my head is going to be flat. Um, and I hate that. But, um... All in all, I do like this hair, and I will say I will purchase this hair again, but I just won't purchase it this length. And I'm not going to say I'm going to flat iron this hair just to see. I don't think I want to do that. I might, but the chances are slim of me actually doing that. And as far as my hair blending in goes, um, my hair blends in on this side and in the back, but in the front, I think because I've put so much heat to my hair my hair um i actually put a little bit of water and it's actually still kind of straight you guys can see like right there um it's still blending in but not as much as i want it to my hair the light my hair if i put water in it it will be and this is actually i wait this into a u-part wig i bought a u-part cap from the store and i sewed it on there and my I have three combs, one, two, and then one in the back. As you guys can see, like it's staying on my head pretty good. And you guys can see this side is um, has a bobby pin right here to hold it back. It's staying on my head pretty good. Which I like that, but again, I, I really think this hair is too much for me. And um, before my camera cuts off, because I never get to say like bye or later nowadays because of my camera. But that's pretty much all I had to say and the link is going to be below. Um, and with the kinks and curls in it, it does tangle up a little bit. But like I said, this is kinky curly hair is going to kink up. But again, all you have to do is just spray water on it and then take you a wide tooth comb or a paddle brush and then just brush it out. This hair is the same with the other hair that I had. Um, if you wet it and then brush it down, it'll get smaller. But if you want it to be big, like this hair could actually be bigger. I know that's kind of hard to believe, but it could be bigger. Um, if I was to like brush and comb it out some more, it would get bigger. I don't want that. I really don't. But... Um, Oh, my camera still is recording. That's amazing. But yeah, it'll be a slideshow after this. It'll be the link below with all of the company's information and where to find this hair if you want to try it out for yourself. And I will see you guys later.